get uh, the Old Testament division. This is the Jewish. This is how the Jewish people divided the, the Hebrew canon. The, they call it, the, the first is the Torah, the book of law. I'll try to give you, I'll be giving you some information about this. And then the second division is the Nebiim. Nebiim, Nebiim means prophets. That's the Hebrew word for prophets, Nebiim. And then Ketub. Ketub means writings. Uh, here they divided the, the Nebiim, you know, the prophets, into two. The, the Rishonim, the former, because they are early prophets in the Old Testament. Uh, they call it the former prophets. And they, the other, the later prophets, these are the, the, in the modern divisions. And the twelve. Uh, in the modern divisions of the Old Testament canon, they call it the, the historical books. Part of the historical books is the, are the, the book of Pentateuch. Penta means five, you know that, you know? Penta means five. Uh, the known writings of, uh, of uh, uh, Moses that uh, uh, traditional uh, scholars normally attributed the five books of the Pentateuch to Moses, but the biblical scholars attribute them to JAPD. They try to let the text speak for themselves. And then they, the poetical literature, also known as the, the, the wisdom literatures. These are coming from the book of uh, Job. Uh, this is Joshua. No? Uh, Joshua, the, there is a joke there that because uh, except from Melchizedek, who has no parent, Joshua also was born from a woman whose name is Nan, so, <laughs> so he, uh, uh, a joke yun, ano, no, uh, Joshua is a son of Nan, <laughs> Nan kasi yung pangalan, no, ano. so poetical, so poetical literature, some modern divisions, the, the, the modern scholars, they try to separate books that, that are historicals, uh, it talks about the history of Israel, and we will try to come up with those books. And then the poetical, these are from the book of Job, uh, wisdom literature. These are the book of wisdom coming from the, the Kohelet, or the teachers of, uh, teachers of wisdom from the Israelite community. They are from the, the community of Israel who are elders. They are called wise men, wise men, the wise men of Israel. So they devoted their, their time in teaching, not only teaching, but learning, learning the, the meaning of human, uh, human existence. And then the propheticals, these are, in the, in the modern division, they call the major prophets and the minor prophets. There is no other meaning. Major prophets simply means they are considered major prophets because their writings are long like the book of uh, Jeremiah, uh, Isaiah, Jeremiah, uh, Daniel, uh, Ezekiel. They, these are, uh, no. Although the book of Daniel, actually, in the original Hebrew writings, they do not consider the book of Daniel as prophetical. Mukhang late ang writing ng Daniel, at they consider it as part of the writings. In fact, sa, sa Hebrew Bible, huli ang book ng Daniel, not Malachi. O yung basa ng iba ay Malachi. 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 <laughs> uh, saka yung isa, uh, actually ang unang nag-cook na tao ay uh, ano, prophet. No? <laughs> si Hab a cook. Um, prophetical. So, lito mo tayo. But at the same time, we'll try to deal with that. So, the, the known Torah are the Pentateuch. In the modern division. The Pentateuch. The known historical, but... Uh, but the, 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 in, the, oh, in the Jewish division, the Nibim, they considered also the book of Samuel, Kings, as part of the prophetical, because for them, uh, Samuel is also a prophet. Uh, the book of Judges and like that. And then, the book of Genesis, you take note, in the book of Genesis, this is the book of the beginning, the records of the beginning, the origin, uh, in which the, 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 the author insists on the intentionality of God's creation, that God created the world and everything that is in it with intentionality. Uh, may purpose si God kung bakit siya nag, 
nag-create. Uh, at nag-create si God at kasama doon ang ang humanity. Uh, at, at of course, ang, at seemingly naging ang mundo ay naging anthropocentric, naging center ang humanity. At that that development na naging center ang humanity leads also to abuses. Dahil trinato natin ang mundo, ang earth, ang nature na ano kasi doon sa kuman kay Adam na ano ano na subdue the earth. Rule over them. Uh, medyo mabigat doon. Pero mahahalagang kunin sa teaching ng Book of Genesis, yung when God asked us, Cain, where is your brother? Ang uh, sagot ni Cain doon, why am I my brother's keeper? That is the very reason that why God asked you. And seemingly, that's the teaching of the Bible, that we should be keeper of humanity. We should not be killer of one another. Ang pagpapahalaga sa buhay ng kapwa, saka yung kapatid, ay mahalaga. Ano? Kaya yung tanong ni God, ontologically, yun ang dapat na alam ni Cain. You, you are, yes, you are brother's keeper. You, you are the keeper of your own brother. At ang, kahit nakita niyo yung hanapan sa Genesis, ano, Adam was asked by God, where are you? <laughs> and Adam hide himself with, with Eve, di ba? We, we are hiding. And why you are hiding? Because we are naked. Why you are naked? Who told you that you are naked? Did you eat? Di ba yung tanong kay Adam, nagtatago kami. Bakit? Hubad po kasi kami. Sinong may sabi sa inyong hubad kayo? Who told you that you are naked? Did you eat the, the fruit of tree that I told you not to eat? Yung turuan, ano? At uh, ngayon din naman yung turuan sa mundo at sa bahay, tuloy-tuloy, ano? Uh, ganun ang philosophy. Sabi ni ni ni, Ad, ni God kay Adam, why? Why you, why you are hiding? You are hiding. Who told you that you are naked? Did you eat? Ang sagot ka agad ni Adam, The woman you gave me. She gave me. A woman. Why did you do that? Sabi ng woman, The snake. Oh, the serpent. Oh, ito na nung serpent. Why did you do that? Wala na siya maituro. <laughs> uh, ano, yung, pero yung, yung pinasopiya doon na kahit sa bahay, turuan. Kahit sa humanity, turuan. We blame each other. And then, wa- wag niyong isipin doon na ano, ano, napakapangit ng ibang translation dyan. Nasabi, dahil nakinig ka sa asawa mo, curse is the ground. Ah, nakinig, ano? So, yung pakikinig ba sa asawa, dahilan ng sumpa. Hindi, hindi yun masyadong, ano, technically na tama na pagbasa. So, Genesis, the book of beginning, alin yung mahalagang itreasure natin dyan, yung origin ng man, yung origin ng human suffering, makikita niyo din sa book of Genesis. Uh, the, the, we suffer because of the, the fall. So there is so much suffering in this world. Part of human existence is the suffering because of the fall. Uh, we violated, we transgress. Uh, we do something which is not, God has never told us to do, the humanity. At lagi natin gano'n, ano yung ginagawa natin, yung ayaw. Ba't ba, ba masarap gawin yung ayaw? Yung pinagbabawal, no? At yung hindi, yun ang ayaw natin masyadong gawin. So Genesis, gene, origin, the beginning. Uh, Exodus, that is originally, ex, ano na kasi ito, ano, uh, Greek word na ito. Uh, nangyari yan, nung di, andyan sa nilagay kong notes, when the, when the king of Egypt asked for the Greek translation of the, the Hebrew Bible, the Hebrew canon, and Septuagint was produced. The LXX. Septuagint ang tawag dyan sa translation na yan. Nung sa Egypt, uh, is, uh, sa Alexandria, Egypt, they need a, a Bible which is in Greek. So the, the, the Septuagint, 70. 70 yan, di ba? 70 scholars, they decided to translate the Hebrew Bible into Greek. And they come up with what the, we call now the Septuagint translation because it was translated by 70 uh, scholars when the king of Egypt uh, asked for I think Ptolemy uh, asked for a copy of the Hebrew Bible into Greek so medyo naging Greek na yung pananaw ano kaya ito mga Greek word na ito eh yung known sa atin ano ito Bereshit sa Hebrew Bereshit yan uh, and then yung Genesis uh, yung Exodus Greek word na yan X yung X means out 
out. Uh, and then yung kanya niyan. And then hodos. Hodos, exodos. Hodos means way. Way out. Kaya way out ang exodus. Deliverance ang tawag ng iba. Deliverance. Because it, they, in that book, they, the author recorded the deliverance of Israel from the land of Egypt. Uh, ano ba nirebuke ni God sa Egypt? Yung pag-abuse ng mga slaves. Yung too much. Ano, the, the, ang sabi doon ng passage, God heard the cry of the Israelites when the the at least the 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 Pharaoh together with his men abused the people of Israel. At si ang Bible laging galit sa abuses yan ano. Ayaw ng Bible ng abuse. Kaya kahit yung Israel during the historical books sa Kings, uh, Samuel's nung nag-abuse na sila ng power when ay makikita din naman at mamaya at yung nag-abuse sila ng power they they worship other gods particularly during the time of Solomon nung time ni Solomon nag-abuse sila ng power si Solomon para kasi yung tatay niyan si David puro lahat din destroyed when David destroyed all the enemies of Israel nung pumalit si Solomon peaceful yung kingdom di ba Nat- natalo lahat yung kaaway eh. so natakot si Solomon at what of, one of his purposes there is actually para wag siyang atakihin ng mga surrounding nations, ginawa niya lahat biyanan yun. Ano? <laughs> Nag-asawa siya ng napakarami. Princess, different princess, coming from different the surrounding nations. So, biyanan niya lahat yung king. So, wala nga naman aaway sa kanya. Kasi, nag-asawa siya ng 300 at saka 7,000 na kabit. Ah, 700. 700 na kabit. So, mga 1,000 yung wife niya na hindi niya natabihan siguro iba doon. <laughs> ang, ang point, God is against abuses with that, ano, the, the record in the book of Exodus. Uh, God decided to deliver the, the people of Israel from the land of Egypt because of the abuses of Egyptians. At kahit nung pinanis ulis, nung when the time of the Babylonian, when God punished the Israel during the time of Babylons, again, nagalit si God sa Babylon dahil sa abuse uli nila sa Israel. Pero again, ang naging paul ng Israel, they worship other gods, and their worship of other gods lead, lead them to what? Social injustice. Minanipulate nila yung society. Kaya ang akala natin, yung Bible, napaka-spiritual na walang social setting. Mayroon. Uh, nagalit si God sa time ng historical books dahil doon sa kanilang mga pag-abuse sa community. Yung symbol doon na ina- kinakamkam nila yung ari-ari anong may hirap. Tapos nagpapayaman yung mga kings, yung mga hari, yung mga leaders. Tapos walang makain yung society. Tapos kaya, at parang bansa natin, ano, aware ba kayo dito sa Philippine setting na the wealth of this nation is actually owned by the 15% people. 85%. 85% of our wealth owned by 15%. <laughs> And the 15% well, ay pinagpapataya ng 85%. Nagkakagulo dun sa 15% well. Yeah, medyo ano yan na makita din natin yung ganitong uh, society na totally hindi naman mali lahat ang communism sa pananaw nila. Ano? Meron kasing abuses na dapat i-review, na dapat i-correct ang society. So tingnan mo natin. So, and then, so way out ang exodus. Uh, bakit inalaw ni God na makalaya sila dahil sa abuses ng Egyptian Pharaoh?